Hey there, on the South Calvin Super Devil World. La well, last time we swam a lot. It's Water World. They look very far to this level. So it looks like we got this lab. There's a door there. It's pretty scary. Ship graveyard. It's the boat, but it's dead. See, that's a ghost. Yellow level, so I'm going to assume there's only one exit. There's a lot of slowdown here. I'm going to assume that's just the truth. Because I'm experiencing it right now. Game not ready for all these ghosts. Maybe it's the Yoshi. You gotta free one up. And that's nice. And like the ship is well made. Like it's kind of interestingly made. I don't know. You can get double feather if you want. Whoa, look at that angel block. Who wanna go on an angel sock? No one. Who wants to wear the sock of an angel? That just doesn't make sense. Cow cow. There's a lot of boats here, but they, they seem to be floating okay. Like, they're bobbing a lot, and uh, the cannon shot, but... Like, they're still, for the most part, like, serving as boats, you know? I mean, yeah, they go a bit down, and you got two Dagadons right next to each other. That's kind of weird, but look at that. Now, see, now this is the Mega Boat. It's welcome to Mega Boat! Miss the box, and get a box! Secret prize cave. We're underwater now. What does that mean? Well, there's the exit. It's all caved in. A piece switch must be found, but I tripped on the spike. But actually, my horse did, and that hurt me. That's oh, uh, there I did it. I found it. Um, hmm. It's a little bit of a complication. Except barely. I did it! I solved the puzzle! I swam underneath the thing! I guess that was the puzzle. Alright, so I guess if I do that, and I do that, and hey! Victory has been found within the soul of these mittens. The ship graveyard is a level that exists in the... I mean... So yeah, I just want to make some sweet ships using using boat pieces. What about it? You got a problem with that? I don't. So let's continue the World Four Three Castle. So the object in this world is hey, oh she's not here. That's right. Is the message box? Wonder if that's like absolutely needed for the star exit. I don't know. Like, it looks like the challenge would be to find a place where you can put it down and actually read it. Anyways, we're swimming! There's water, it's translucent, so Mario looks a bit pale. What are you gonna do about it? There's a path up here, and there's a path on there, the path on there has money. So, I don't know which one I want. Oh, but there's stuff up there. Alright, I feel like I need to check it out. The time limit of this place is... Pretty chunko, so here we go. Spino. Those are all things I've said. Alright, here you get a P switch and mass amounts of slowdown. Alright, like maybe like you read the message box and it tells you exactly where you wanna where you want where you wanna bop it, where you wanna flop it, slop it, bop it, or you can go there in that pipe at some point. You know what? Yeah, that sounds like maybe, well, uh, there's a return pipe. Ooh, maybe that you just get a key there is a thing, you know? Like, you, you never know. Well, I certainly can return there. I can get this money, though. Ooh, watch out for that dead fish. It's dead. It'll bite you instead on the head. Yeah, if it, was, if it wasn't dead, it wouldn't. What does that symbol mean up there? It says, like equal or something and then a something like when does that when was that symbol i don't know maybe it means something someone somewhere it's a distinct possibility oh there's a piece with you can press it the water is kind of vibing electric like it has a weird like staticky movement you know is this a moving tide level yeah, I thought so. I, I'm thinking that the P-Switch is there strictly for... Oh... That's a bad time. I, I mean, you don't need to, though. Oh, but then it's gonna be fully down, and in that case, we can just fly. But yeah, like, it's all... It's all gonna do that. 
but at some point it's not, right? Or, uh, it always does, and that's why you need the P-switch. Or you can go up here, or you just go up here, and you're overcomplicating things in your little head zone there now, cow. Everything is possible if you don't believe in yourself. It's like the opposite of the lesson you want to learn. Alright, so lots of turning turbulence. It's like I'm playing uh, like a VIP early castle here. S spinning water thing Ludwig. And there you go, there's a future level that's never gonna exist right there. Level name incorporated. Uh, I'm gonna press it! I'm gonna do it! Yeah! I press the P switch! Oh my gosh, it's Lemmy, it's completely unchanged Lemmy, I can see his feeties, eat a pastrami, uh, pastrami for you, pastrami to the zoo, what am I talking about, that's not a pastrami, it's a giant orange pipe, it's not tomato sauce, it's lava, it's not a pan, it's a bunch of blocks, you need to be able to tell the difference between these things, this is necessary for survival. I'm gonna put this egg right in my face. But only like for a couple seconds. Then he's gonna find his hammer. And that's gonna happen. Well, let's rescue the third egg from the seafood buffet of the ravenous Lemmy Koopa. He did it. From Swim Mario Press Explorer Cave. So as of now, we've been kind of going along the Mario 3 level type, world types. But... We don't got giants, so we're just, just gonna make it a cave instead. <laughs> yeah, unnecessary detour here, look at that. It's totally not vanilla, don't, cause it's less interestingly made. Alright, I'm thinking, I guess, since I have nothing in my reserve box anyway, I'm gonna bring one message box and we can try listening to one message and... Maybe it give some help. I don't know. I don't know anything. Yay! Dead. Dead fish is in the way. Did it. Alright. Alright! I'm glad I got this sweet message I could read and then destroy the background. Totally worth it. I get it now. I mean... <laughs> There's a possibility that by removing this excess information, that reveals further information, strictly speaking. I wouldn't count on it, but strictly speaking, I don't know what it is about the world that everyone is worried. Oh, that's an annoying place to get to. Can I even get there, Big? Ha, okay. This came from a box, so if I lose it, I need to restart, which is fine. Ooh, it's fine. I th I don't know if I can... Okay, but at least I managed to do that. Alright, no, I... Okay, I'm just gonna get hurt. I'm gonna put all my chances in my way. So what's up with this little place? Alright, we got a thing here. We sure do. What am I looking at? I don't know. You sure can do that if you want. Alright, that's a one-up. I mean, is this just one of those one-up things? Maybe. Dang it. Yeah! Okay. Sweet. Um, I mean, look, I can use 1-ups, but I was hoping for something with a bit more sauce to it. So, now I'm thinking, well, there's that strange pattern further in the level. I'm like, yeah, like, right there. So, let's get that. Ugh. It's just so weird, this, this pattern. Well... Well... <laughs> okay... I, mean, I tried to put a message there, like that's supposed to be like some kind of clue, but last time I tried it here, just no message appeared because of... I think it's layer shenanigans? 
This level is really short, I realize now. Um, I can fly here. Alright, I can put it here and read it. There's a secret exit that can be found by dropping down the first pit in the second half of the level. <laughs> Alright, I did it! <laughs> so there we go. That's the magic of the thing. Yeah, I, I, you don't get a message in the first half, so I brought it here. There we go. Mystery solved. Should I bring it with me? Because I, I can return. It's just the detour on the map. Oh, whatever. It's a water star world. Gotta get a normal exit first. Oh boy, it's more of these. Okay, it's another auto scroller. Yeah. It's a pretty fast one, honestly. There's a whole bunch of munchers. Lost my horse. As you do. He's now stuck in there forever. He's gonna have a lot of fun. Is the key here? No, nope, that's just a thing. Oh, um... It's kind of a bit of a blindish drop-ish. I don't know if it really qualifies. I'm kind of stuck in my place here. Yeah, like, I get star run by from these blocks everywhere. I don't know why. Wonder if I'm remembering something from, like, footage I've seen in the past. Well, anyways, meanwhile, remember 3-3? Three, three? In this game, you know, the muncher level auto-scroller? That was an auto-scroller with a bunch of munchers, like this? It's that again! So this time there's no clever layer 2 shenanigans. It's really just, I don't know, man. Try not to die if you want. There's a pipe, by the way. Whoosh. I think that the thing was still scroll. Okay, so it's pretty short. But there is a mystery. That goal post is too long. It goes too high. The goal won't go that high. It looks Make you look very foolish there, jeans man, wearing all those layers of jeans. Uh, well, let's... I don't know. <laughs> Go back to pipe. Okay, that's not it. Oh! Right here! And then you're given this to swim better. Yeah, my memories work. Oh, and I bet you use a silver pea to order a spronghetti at a local Italiana place, or to get past the wall of Coca-Cola sponsored jellyfish and yen. Got it! I understand the world, we live in it, and that's about it. Uh, oh, I can't hit the block. Well, I hit it a bit too late. So that's gonna make this part of Voyage a little bit more difficult. But, we're just gonna have to do our best. That's my best. Yeah, swimming through this while holding an object... Kind of an implicit nightmare. I can't tell the difference of when I die, when I merely get hurt. And that, that looks like it wants to be- Oh shoot, did I kill my- I sure did. Wow, okay, curiosity. Don't bother with it. Should I bother? Like, what if I did this instead? Well, no, I I need it at the end. Like, that was a complete and complete another waste. I need it at the end. I can restore my stars, no problem, but there's no silver P restore. The implication is that I do indeed have to carry it with me. It's not just to make it movement easier. I absolutely need it. It's not that I have the P switch to make it faster to go from star to star. It's that I get the star to star to make it more palatable to carry this P-switch with me across this place. I do not confuse what is there to help me and what is there by necessity. Necessity. Well, I sure gummed it up there. Let's hope for the best. Fireball will turn all of your enemies to coin. That's just physics. It's alchemy. Alchemy's not physics. It's like the op. It's not. 
Is it it's magic? Is the opposite of physics magic? Like what is? What would qualify as the opposite of physics? I think imagination might be it. I don't know. It's just gonna be money, because yeah, it's specifically for for star chains. If you're not a chain operator, this person will not reserve your place for a fun, happy, fun time, family zone stay. That's right, I'm saying words together, it happens. Alright, that's a money. Oh, these are all gonna turn into medusas again. Jellyfish. Yeah, the maze don't stop! The maze don't go! I don't know if I need to, like, make a choice here, because there's top and bottom, because, like, there's, there's a destination at the end of this. I wouldn't be surprised if I get, like, clot- uh, How do I turn around? I don't know how I turned around there. Just very much by accident, because why would I want to burn behind me when there's a fish in front of me, right? Oh, this is making, like, a shape of some kind. I don't know, maybe? Could be an accident, it could be an opportunity lost, it could be an oil spillage. Like that, there's all these tiny fishes, I don't care about them. Then you got this like chonker of a fish, as big as a human. It's sitting right at me? Yeah, I'm getting out of the way. Harsh penance. Oh, oh. these guys started moving before Charlie started saying it. I smell shenanigan. Most of them just off screen themselves, by the way. That's what they do. Now it's all completely empty. A little bit empty. I mean, uh, oh. There's the end. So I was supposed to have found a key somewhere? Okay. Whatever. Where? I don't know. Just somewhere. Huh. Tabak-nack! Well... I want a cape, so I can side thwack. Well... Yeah, I'll make the detour. Uh, that... how... Stylings of ten 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 I mean, I took the low road, I didn't see anything, so I'm gonna try and stick to the high road this time where there's a split, and maybe I'll see something interesting up here. I really don't know, though. Got a star going. To this day. I don't know for how long, but at least until now. Ooh, surprise that worked. Did say I'd stick to the time, dude. Really? Um. Okay, I'm surprised I managed to do that. Speaking earnestly here, <laughs> I didn't think the timing would would go. And yeah, and then you just make it to the end, and you can't miss the keyhole. And I missed a star somewhere, seemingly, which fair. Like it doesn't really matter all that much. Got a lot of slowdown here. But like I'm be able to like side swap the fish. I'm not too afraid. And also oh no, okay. They didn't Oh, a lot more survived than last time. But they won't survive the Ford X! It's never simple, man. It's never simple. You gotta I mean, I saw the level. I saw where I didn't go to. Wasn't a whole lot of options left to me. Those big fry walls keeping us from just skipping to World 7. Although I could take a pipe to skip to World 7, so my complaint is meaningless.